Okay, we're back filming for our second part. So, uh, can you share a little bit about what it's like being a Japanese Christian in your workplace, um, in just everyday life, I guess, because I know it's a very large minority here. So I just want to hear what it's like from a Japanese perspective, mm -hmm. being Christian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for asking. So, uh, to be a Christian in Japan is mm, the, the difficulty of the life is, of course, being different from others. Because I believe that Japanese culture is kind of a religion. <laughs> Being Japanese is kind of a religion. I know that it sounds weird, but uh, so we don't like uh, being different from other people. Yeah, and so as you mentioned, being a Christ Christian here it, uh, means to uh, be a large minority, yeah. and yeah, so at why my workplace, um, I don't feel uh, difficulty because I've already uh, told my co co-workers uh, that I am a believer. And, but before uh, telling the fact to my co-workers, uh, I was actually a little bit afraid of uh, confessing that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I understand that other Christian in Japan uh, are also afraid of uh, talking about their belief like this. Thanks. What would you say are so? It's pretty brave, I guess, for you to be willing to profess your faith and, and tell your co-workers, hey, like, I'm different. And like you said, Japanese people like to be the same. That's what I realized. Like, everyone is stuck to, like, being in the uniform society where, like, it's like, go home, work every day, eight to ten hours, go home. It's, like, very, like, routine, you know? Yeah. And I think you said that's a good point where Japanese people don't like to be different. And I, even on the subways, I realized that like, if someone was being loud, everyone will stare at them in a way. <laughs> so it's like, that's pretty interesting. And I, get, I, I never saw Christianity as like being that kind of like different as well. But yeah, what would you say are some... Uh, let's just wait until the subway passes. <laughs> but... Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't realize we were right next to the subway station, so I was like, yeah. so I'm wondering how much that will affect the uh, audio, but it's okay, I'll figure it out. Okay, so uh, obviously, how many years have you been a Christian? Maybe I've got a 13 years. 13? Yeah, I think. Yeah, so what, in those 13 years, how have you seen the gospel spread in Japan, or Christianity spread in Japan? Mm, not so big difference yeah, before, so, so 13 years ago and now. In between that, I haven't seen so much progress uh, in Christianity they spread in, uh, in Japan here. Why do you think that is? Yeah. One of the reasons must be that uh, we Japanese people are, as I told you, afraid of uh, talking about uh, religion or Christianity yeah, to others. So. Yeah, that must be the biggest reason, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. So, believing, mm, talking about Christianity is kind of to be afraid of, and also 
listening to other people talking about religions is also a scary thing or yeah. mm -hmm. Japanese people don't like it. Mm. What would you say is so scary to the Japanese? Like why is it so scary? Or, mm. or is it just being different or is it like a bigger reason? Maybe. Uh, so we Japanese people always uh, think about how other people receive us. So mm. Mm. So it's a lot of it is like everyone cares so much about what they or others think of them yeah. and it's like your like image in a way your like your good. image mm -hmm. like they everyone's so focused on everyone's so focused on like you know like making the perfect image mm. Mm. okay that's really interesting yeah. mm. okay i'm like i just went blank i, I just forgot my question yeah <laughs> mm, but yeah, I feel like you're in a very rare case where you were, your Japanese friend shared the gospel to you and you became a Christian. You met your wife at a church and you shared the gospel to your parents and they eventually became Christian. Yeah. So that, how, would you, how rare would you say that is in Japan? Or like a Japanese fa Christian family? Uh, it's very rare, as you said. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> How rare is it? Difficult to answer. Mm. Very, very rare. <laughs> <laughs> very rare, yeah, yeah. So I think we can agree it's very rare. Yeah. Would you say someone like your parents generation what would be a fact I know a lot of the older generation is tied to older traditions older religions um, what would you say is like the biggest factor to why they do not want to choose Christianity mm. for the older generation mm. yeah, so if they uh, change how they think mm, it means that uh, they will be out of their unity that they belong to so uh, we are afraid of that mm -hmm. so making a big difference mm -hmm. in our life we don't like changes so much mm -hmm. I think back to the unity thing is that like uh, your family traditions and stuff would you be have you heard of cases where people become Christian and they get cut off from their families in a sense mm, not mm, su su superficially mm -hmm. Not so much, I think. Yeah. Of course, there are some cases. Maybe just I can't recall those kinds of cases now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And I'm thinking, uh, oh, I've talked to a few people that have shared, hey, like, Christianity seems very cool, or like, I like the idea of Christianity. Mm -hmm. And I want to believe, but at the same... Oh, hold on, I'm sorry. This is like unfocused. Okay, maybe this is better. Okay. Okay, let me start over. So, I've talked to some people where they've shared, hey, like, Christianity is very interesting, and the material or, like, the gospel message seems very real, mm -hmm. but I've heard responses like, I can't believe, because if I believe... 
my like I lose my my traditional values, stuff like that. Like, would, you said you're the oldest, right? Oldest. Yes. Yeah. So um, what I'm trying to say is, before your parents were Christian, before your parents were Christian, was there an expectation of you to take or pass down your previous family's traditions and uh, heritage? Not actually, because okay. yeah, I <laughs> was not a kind of a person that obeyed my parents. <laughs> <laughs> my parents didn't expect uh, me to do so. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, win-win. Yeah, just a little quick side note. How did you get so good at speaking English? <laughs> really? Thank you. Uh, when I became a teacher of English uh, five years ago, I was not good at speaking English at all. And I felt necessity to get better at speaking English. So mm -hmm. that's why I tried to have more opportunities to talk in English. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. I feel like. And now you're one second. <laughs> we have a subway going on. We have construction <laughs> behind us. But um, yeah, so like you mentioned in the beginning, now you're teaching junior high and high school students, and you're an English teacher, right? Yeah. Okay. How uh, would you say uh, being a Christian in the workplace mm -hmm. is there or actually? You start becoming a teacher. If, actually, no, that doesn't make sense. I just have to re rewind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm thinking. Okay, yeah. How? Um, what are some challenges God has placed in your life right now? The challenges. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm going like yeah, all. I'm yeah. going all over the place, but yeah. yeah. No worries. Uh, the biggest challenges. So, for example, to convey the Jesus way to my wife's parents is one of the biggest struggles. So, I know it sounds like an excuse, but yeah, I think Japanese people are kind of too busy and yeah. <laughs> I have to uh, prepare for telling about Jesus to my. <laughs> <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> I understand. The cat just popped up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I want to talk about uh, Jesus to my wife's parents, and yeah. I try to do so sometimes, but yeah, I need time for preparation, and I don't have that. So, yeah, making a making priority is one of the biggest difficulties that I have. Maybe one way you can share the gospel to them is like that same love you experienced when you became a Christian first at that retreat. Maybe if you can just exemplify Christ in your actions and maybe they will see that. And that's a good start. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you. Um, so what's next in your life? Or what do you have planned next in your life? Now my wife is pregnant and next May she'll give Ooh. birth to a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is my uh, big event in my life next. That's awesome. Yeah. And also I'm thinking about changing my jobs. Yeah. Now I teach English to my students. But I'm thinking about becoming a programmer, but yeah, if God allows and hopes it, I'll do so. Mm -hmm. Awesome, and just closing, um, 
I guess building off that, what are some prayer requests for you, for your family, or like just in general, I mean, for Japan, what, what, what comes to your mind when I ask for prayer requests? Yeah. So, now, the Japanese society is, I think, not growing up, but going down. And also, uh, we've had had a lot of disasters, yeah, like earthquakes and typhoon, typhoons, and and I think this is one of the. As I know it sounds strange, the um, blessing because Japanese people's belief is so strict and fixed and difficult to change but maybe about seven years ago there was a big earthquake uh, in Japan and I heard that uh, the event changed uh, how the people think in the area a lot and I think So, for example, it is said that uh, in Japan, in Tokyo, there will be a big earthquake uh, within 10 or 20 years from now. And, of course, it, is, it will be the, a big problem, yeah, but it will be a big chance to uh, spread the gospel. So when that happens, please uh, remember us and uh, take some actions uh, so that uh, the God's way is spread all over Japan, and first uh, beginning from Tokyo. Awesome. Last question. Uh, can you share with us your favorite Bible verse? Mm. Or just anything? Yeah, thank you. It's difficult to say that in English, but Mika, uh -huh. uh, chapter 6, verse 8, uh, what God uh, hopes is Sorry, I, I want to check the <laughs> or, Bible. Do you know it in Japanese or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can say it in Japanese and then I can transcribe it later. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I'll just check it. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> yeah, no, no, thank you. Take two. <laughs> we'll take two. Uh -huh. yeah, it takes time. Uh -huh. No, it's so quiet. <laughs> I know, right, right now. Like, Where I'm not talking. <laughs> I don't know, no cats, no kids on bikes, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> we had everything this interview. Thank right. you for waiting. All right, ready? I'll, I'll just ask the question one more time. So can you share with us your favorite Bible verse? So, Mika chapter 6, uh, verse 8. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Mm -hmm. So why, would, why is that your favorite verse? Mm. It reminds me of uh, how we should walk, walk every day. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, we can go back to this uh, verse every time when we lose ourselves, especially are uh, surrounded by non-Christians. Awesome.
Thank you very much. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for sharing. Thank yeah, you. we're excited for everyone to see this. All right, we're out.